Okay, so I haven't done a pick a card reading for a while, so um, I would love to do it today. There are no specific topic for this reading. It's just what you need to hear right now. So there are going to be four piles and here are the four images. So choose the one that you're most drawn to and the timestamps are below in description. So if you pick number one or the first image, here's the message. Okay, I'm being called to shuffle the animal spirit deck. You need to hear right now. Okay, you've got crocodile. Adventure. I'm using five five different piles. Oops. You've got messenger, the serious energy, serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. You've got builder. All right, so. Let me just tune into the message. So crocodile, crocodile is um, right. So crocodile represents cleansing, purifying. Messenger. Right, so a lot of you guys who pick number one um, need to spend some time on healing yourself. I mean, this is a general reading, so uh, a lot of people will be in a different situation. But what I am picking up from this group is you definitely need some self-healing therapeutic time. And you know, a lot of people are... Uh, staying at home, practice, pract practicing social distancing, and this is a really great time to use it for your benefits. For some of you, you're encouraged to take care of your body. And this includes eating healthier and doing some workout. But I feel that this is really about... Um, bringing more stability and predictable routines into your, da your daily life. Colon cleansing, juicing, detoxing, eating healthier, cleaner. I think for some of you, I think it's very important to get rid of a certain food in your food from your plate. You know, sometimes just cutting out processed food can make you feel so much better. There's a need to take care of your body. And some people are finding challenges and falling asleep at night. Again, this could be uh, partially because of the type of food that you are consuming. And so interesting. Okay, so when you look at this card, uh, this person is like, this person is getting a lot of light and I feel like perhaps like in your bedroom it could be a really simple thing that can possibly facilitate a quality of sleep like closing your curtain completely and uh, just turning off all the lights our body can better relax in the absence of light so this can help improve the quality of your sleep and, and this light may have come from your 
laptop or phone. So, so make sure that you turn off those devices and not really looking at the social media just before you go to bed because whatever you do before going to bed um, is going to affect your subconsciousness. You would notice that when you listen to like calm music and like make your surrounding peaceful, restful, then usual you can have a better sleep and um, may feel better the next day when you wake up. So that's what I'm getting, yeah. And then you have adventure and messenger as well. So. You are hearing a lot of news. I feel that you're learning a lot recently. Some of them are really helpful for your growth. Yeah, you're hearing a lot of news, like information may be overloading with you. And this information is helping you to uh, make a decision when it comes to career interesting okay career relationship but most people i think this is about career opportunities or opportunities to make money or bring physical stability in any way shape or form be on the lookout i think um, lots of things are shifting around you and research research I don't necessarily feel a lot of distractive energy uh, coming from the messenger card, which is common, but I think it's, I think some of you may already heard about this news or, uh, or you will sooner or later find some new piece of information or this could be a new contact. So engage in social interaction, like while you practice social distancing there are so many ways that you can get connected to other people through the internet or some other ways so be on the lookout and i think this can possibly nudge you to a different slightly different direction or the direction that you've been wanting to be headed towards so yeah but in order to do that i think Taking care of your body, self-care, is going to be very important. Okay, I want to pull the last card to sum up this reading. Okay, you've got two cards. Ooh, I love it. Breaking bad habits. Okay, so this definitely talks about uh, the self-care that I mentioned, cutting out certain food. And here it says, self-acceptance, excellent, mental health, and letting go of vices. So, yeah, I think for most people, I feel that this is about food. But this can be like smoking or um, self-destructive habits, alcohol or any, any other thing. It could be like negative thinking as well. In the second one, you've got power symbol, cleanse, purify, and protect the physical body. Ooh, I love how all these cards are talking about the same thing. Like they're all connected. So clearly there are two messages. One is about self-care, take care of your body. Don't be so much concerned about the instant gratification or numbing out emotional pains like by doing something that you're familiar with you need to use your own discernment to break some dysfunctional habits and then some great opportunities are coming to you yeah it's not that you're finding you're seeking for the opportunities i feel like they are already like within your reach but when you finally let go of dysfunctional habits or something that's something that's not working for you, when you let that go, 
these good things can come to you. It's like you're making room for something positive to come towards you. So this is good. So have fun um, take, taking care of yourself. Give yourself good support. So that is a message. I hope you found it helpful. Give it a good thumbs up if you found it helpful. And have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, so pile number two, if you pick the second message, here's the message for you. The message you need to hear right now. Number two. The great serving, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. I feel like there are some chaotic, um, chaotic energies around you. This could be not necessarily um, coming from you, but I feel like your surroundings, people around you, it could be your family, partner, or friends, colleagues, but there are some sort of imbalance playing out in your environment right now, I think. Expansion, beautiful. And you've got Tarantula from Animal Spirit Deck. And the last card. The message you need to hear right now. Study. Interesting. Okay. So some of you are like getting pushed, getting challenged to um, get out of your comfort zone and like almost like a have a leap of faith in order to expand your power and some people are having challenges around the work environment i mean the global economy is heading towards recession on a larger scale so that is very understandable and and I think this is a period of time that you need to exert your willpower and really study. And some of you, uh, this could be like literally meaning going back to school or it could be an alternative form of schooling, like self-study, doing research and gaining knowledge and improving your skills. But I feel that this is more about like gathering information and uh, deepening your uh, deepening your knowledge the scope of understanding and by doing so i think you can expand uh, your fields and a lot of you um, a lot of you would relate to the career sectors i think and it's very important to be creative when tarantula comes up Every time Tarantula comes up in my reading, this is about creativity, doing things in a different way and tweaking, taking things apart and like analyzing those stuff and be creative. Some of you may have anxiety and speaking of the energy of Mars, Like everything, Mars also has both positive and negative sides to it. And it's up to you how to use this energy. When it's expressed in a negative way, it could be pretty like destructive and aggressive, violent. And, and it could manifest in form of anger, resentment, and frustration. However, those emotions are absolutely valid. And that is like not so much negative because like negativity positivity those are subjective criteria so compared to a total powerlessness anger is so much positive than 
powerless. But when you compare it to complete bliss, like peace, contentment, love, anger is negative. So nothing is absolutely negative or positive because as your energetic frequency keeps moving, everything is changing right now. Nothing stays the same except for like a few principles that sustains the form of the universe. But most things are changing and changeable. So keep focusing on what you can do, not what you cannot do. And I feel like some people recently lost some opportunities. This could be also related to relationship. But any sense of resentment or disappointment, you can transform that energy into a drive that allows you to go get what you want. Whenever you notice that something that you don't like, that actually means that you prefer something else and you need to explicitly identify what it is that what you truly want and focus on that instead of lingering onto what you don't like because whatever you focus grows so use your consciousness you use your focus it's all about focus focus on what you want and keep pursuing what you want to accomplish Ooh. okay so study, reading, research, education, help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. Yeah. Whenever you watch this video, uh, the published date doesn't really matter. So think of this period of time as a prep stage. And remember, you're always in the process. The destination is unknown and you are always going towards your destiny nothing is set in stone so so you never know what conclusion you would end up having so life is endless and everything is changeable and changing at this moment so use any event as an opportunity to grow and develop yourself actually with a little bit of creative ideas and your willpower you can use this time so effectively and productively. And I want to pull one card to wrap up this reading. The message into here right now. Mystic star, harmony in the home and great friendship. Yeah, so this is about making inner harmony, reaching peace within you and there are yeah contrasting energies mars um anger conflict even if you are dealing with apparent conflicts at this moment you can learn to bring in more peace and harmony and um and mediate this situation and find a way to take benefits from the seemingly negative events it's not about fixing the external circumstances once you find the balance point once you come to a peaceful state of mind then things are getting worked out so if you're going through some sort of roller coaster right now just enjoy your ride and feel the emotions that are arising instead of negating inside instead of avoiding or denying them just feel it intensely and just identify what is it that you want what is it that you want to accomplish where you want to be and focus on that instead of being stuck in the rut and complaining about uh, the situations that you don't like because if there's anything that you don't like this means that you have a clear idea of what you do like what you prefer 
so just be a little bit more creative and I think by shifting your focus you can accomplish something so much greater than you wouldn't even imagine right now and this requires some efforts and studying prep stage but it's gonna be worth it so this is the message that you need to hear and I hope this is helpful and if you liked it give it a good thumbs up and consider subscribing if you like this type of contents and I'll see you in the next one bye all right so if you pick number three or the third image this is the message for you you've got fire ant and at the bottom you you've got golden egg this represents the third chakra solar plexus energy lots of willpower and passion is what I'm picking up prosperity great card I'm happy for you with number three okay you've got two cards baby steps and the void I love these images. Okay. Healer. Beautiful. And at the bottom, you've got body work. So some of you would be involved in health, medical industries. Some of you would be uh, involved in health medical industries even if you're not a medical professional i think what you're doing what you're putting out in the public setting can bring some sort of healing to other people and this is more of like a service you're adding service to a community what i'm picking up from this group is some of you may have like a black and white thoughts like polarized thoughts like this or that I feel like there's no middle ground and is it good for you I don't know stop embrace winter great cosmic womb you may be thinking that if you do this or that or if something happens within a specific period of time then something's gonna happen i feel like you have a lot of formula like mental programmings that are not necessarily absolutely truth but the more you believe in like the more evidence you would find because that's how this entire world is wired programmed it's your subconscious thoughts that creates your reality it's not about your conscious thoughts like oh i want to eat something i want to eat an apple well i'm talking about deep-rooted subconscious thoughts that you may not even recognize and the type of thoughts that you may have absorbed from your parents or caregivers from early childhood and that usually becomes part of your personality and it can be changed only if you look within yourself and have intention to change it to something else so i feel like this is like a reset period of time and but at the same time uh, you have a lot of passion going on and prosperity a gift of money is on its way your income is increasing manage your finance with love so I feel like you you may be very active in the in career money transaction I feel like a lot of cash flows are you may have a lot of cash flow activities recently or sooner or later you're gonna have it and that looks really good and 
You also got baby steps, action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. So group three, I think a lot of things are going on simultaneously. On one hand, you are passionate about your goals and you are actually making noticeable progress and you may be excited about it. On the other side, you still have some sort of like black and white polarized thoughts that can possibly um, hold you back from moving forward or keep you in a spot that is not really helping you move forward. This type of thoughts may have served you in the past, but you need to outgrow. That's what I'm feeling. So in order to outgrow, I think you need to take baby steps, like change certain things around you. It could be like a small thought. For example, investigate your, just think of your self-talk. What are the words, what are the top three words that you often use every single day? What are the three words that you habitually think? The words that you use most often are part of your reality. So let me share my experience. Recently, I, I've been doing some experiments. I wanted to bring in more joy and I, I uh, try to have more fun every single day, regardless of what's happening in the world or in my daily life. I just wanted to have more fun. So when I wake up in the morning, I just like set an intention, I'm going to have so much fun today, no matter what. And I do this, like not just in the morning, but in the daytime or before I go to bed, like habitually, I started um, making a new habit. And really, what I notice is that I'm having so much fun today compared to other days, like when I didn't do. So this type of like intention self-prophecy or willpower can definitely change your daily life and your emotional state and emotion is basically everything because when you feel good like life is so good isn't it but when you feel so depressed nothing can lift you up you just want to quit everything and you may go down to a rabbit hole indefinitely so it's the emotion that determines the quality of your life and know that you have a full control over your inner world even though a lot of people are taught that the external circumstances determine happiness, the personal happiness. No, you can independently achieve personal happiness. So that's what I found and it has been working for me. So. By doing so, by shifting your consciousness, but you are doing well. I think on a physical level, you are doing really good and you are having a lot of passion and have a clear focus to chase. But if you shift your mental focus and become a little bit more loosened when it comes to polarized thoughts, like black and white, just drop that idea and allow yourself to see the world in color because in that way you can have a life experience in more vibrant and visceral and more pleasant ways. So that's the message for you, group three. And I would love to pull one more card to wrap up this reading. Successful career, beautiful. And at the bottom, you've got insight. Open the third eye to strengthen the intuition. I love how nicely uh, wraps up this reading. So definitely, you are doing really well in career. And more opportunities are unfolding for you. A happy working environment, pay rises and promotions. I mean... This period of time, like, well, the published date of this video doesn't really matter, but I'm recording this video in April 
2020 and right now um, the entire world is having a lot of challenges because of the unexpected but it's expected from astrological perspective but um, a lot of people are having a lot of challenges around the economy but you are not the case you actually um, find a lot of opportunities in crisis and you have this ability to turn crisis into opportunities so career looks really good and what is going to sustain you in the long term is your perspective open the third eye if you are new to the term third eye third eyes is basically your your ability to extract wisdom and get insight from mundane activities because you are you have heightened sensitivity and and have a deeper knowledge because you can see far and deeper to the bottom of the matter so in order to do that you need to expand your awareness and be more allowing and permissive to different opportunities or possibilities just be open to receive something else that you may not consider instead of staying in a black and white frame just be more open and yeah just be more open and take baby steps take a little steps like switch things around it could be something trivial like start decluttering a portion of your living space every single day so within a week or so you can declutter entire your house so yeah so don't overwhelm yourself and i want you to know that what you're doing does contribute to a greater a greater a larger community you're bringing healing and whatever visions you may have when you start taking action and uh, start influencing others this could be um, highly positive and a lot of people may find it helpful and get some sort of healing this could be a physical healing but emotional as well so this is the message for you group three and i hope you find it helpful and feel free to consider subscribing to my channel and give it a good thumbs up i hope you have a great day thank you bye all right so if you pick number four or the last image this is the message for you the message that you need to hear right now group four wait you've got wait it's not yet time things are being woven you've got camel it's a beautiful animal this card has a, this card has crescent moon and i think um new moon the the next new moon is going to bring you a significant change especially when this card has the has the image of universe and this looks like Jupiter which is the planet of opportunity expansion and one card partnership you've got teamwork partnership teamwork will give a better result find trustworthy people to partner with build up a talented support team and pulling your last card books i think group two also got the study card group one or group one or two i think it was group two yeah okay so from group four what i am picking up collectively is you are kind of like holding up taking a pause right now and camel is a camel is an animal that can 
save its energy. They're really good at preserving their energy and in their um, in their back, I forget how to call it, but um, they store oil at the back so they can use it as a source of energy when there are not enough food available. And camel lives in deserts, so they, they can endure a lot of heat and challenges that can potentially challenge an ability to survive in a harsh environment. And this Newman, like Newman, I think Newman is going to bring you a huge change. And until then, you'd be better off by holding up and doing some research, collecting information, since you have books. Perhaps you need to uh, spend more time in solitude, retreat to your inner world and evaluate something that you've done so far. You may not have a lot of external activities going on right now, but this is more like an internal process. I feel like you are uh, being charged up. It's like winter, hibernation. You're storing energy and reflecting within yourself, looking back, not necessarily within yourself, but instead of actively reaching out seeking for opportunities or making new contacts you're being encouraged to deepen the knowledge of any subject matter or a person relationship and since you've got partnership this may be related to your um, love life friends family or any interpersonal relationship and there have been some repetitive patterns occurring over and over again and instead of looking for a quick fix you are looking into the substantial reason why you got into the situation for some of you i think you've got into the same situation like same similar situation in different backgrounds with different person and different timing but but I think it almost feels like a deja vu and this means that there are something some lessons that you need to learn this is pretty deep yeah I actually felt like um I actually uh want to pull additional card from Roman's deck reconciliation yeah so someone from your past is returning to your life okay so that's what it felt so some sort of reconciliation is needed through reevaluation, and someone from the past is coming to you. Some of you can have a reun reunion, reunion, and this time you're gonna have new insights. Whether you're gonna be partnered again does not really matter because your insights is what creates difference. So it's not about changing the person that you're dealing with, but your inner acknowledgement, how you see the person or a group of people, that's going to create a different dynamics and relationship this time. It is about perspective. So put things in perspective. And in order to do that, you need to wait, pause, hold up, and reevaluate. You could be journaling or reading books. I think you need to know more about who you are. Even though this is about relationship reading, 
when you can detach yourself from the emotional entanglement, you can see yourself from objective perspective and have a better idea of what you really want and what other person wants and whether the situation is reconciliate reconciliable reconciliable or mediable but when you're so caught up with emotions you cannot see clearly so that's the thing that's why you need to wait and i don't think uh this period of pause is gonna be something extensive but you need to cut off some streams of thoughts or emotional attachments like you need to detach yourself from the situation and then you can start attracting a better partnership the better partnership is coming you've got partnership and reconciliation but in order to make this relationship sustainable first you need to improve your relationship with yourself and that can only come through your self-awareness so know about yourself sit sit tight and learn about yourself don't be in a rush you don't need to be in a rush at all group four i think this is a really profound period of time a significant part of your soul is growing is getting mature so just be patient and don't rush things and when you spend some good amount of time it's not about the time but your attention to the right thing then you're gonna get clear insights and have a better idea of how to deal with relationship the current one and the future one that is coming towards you so I am pulling one last card to wrap up this reading. You've got one enchanted evening, the perfect night. Perfect night. So I feel like this is about like reaching unity within yourself. One enchanted evening, the perfect night. So instead of looking for the perfect match, or perfect half that can complement your half. Find these pieces within you and you're going to attract the perfect person. Hopefully this makes sense to you. So, so yeah, the perfect relationship is available when you are perfectly contented with who you are. When you don't need someone to love you or appreciate you because you already uh, give yourself that kind of support and respect, you don't need anyone. But ironically, you're going to attract someone who genuinely appreciate you and who can compliment you. So that is the message group for I hope this is helpful and if you like it, give it a good thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you like. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!